in 32 kilometer workouts and marathons. We deplete our energy stores, particularly glycogen. Glycogen is a stored form of glucose in our muscles and liver. Plus, long workouts and running a marathon put stress on our muscles, causing micro damage and inflammation. Having a good nutritional strategy addresses the need for adequate fuel, delayed onset of fatigue, and repair muscle damage after. 48 hours leading to your race, meals should be carbohydrate-rich and nutrient-dense in order to build muscle glycogen stores. Breads, cereals, pasta, rice, fruits, potatoes, corn, and low-fat dairy are good sources. You should also have good quality protein sources such as milk, eggs, soy, legumes, fish, lean beef, and vegetables. Also make sure you're drinking enough and feeling well hydrated even few days before your race. One way to determine if you are well hydrated is to check color of your urine. The goal is to have colorless and odorless urine. Two or three hours before a race, it is best to eat foods rich in carbohydrates with some protein that are packed with vitamins and minerals. You can have light meals of rice or pasta with egg and fish or chicken with vegetables and fruits that are not high in fiber, such as zucchinis, mushrooms, tomatoes, cucumber, asparagus, bananas, and apples. Experiment with foods and drinks during your training so you'd know what would work for your body. In that way, you do not try something new during your race day. For workouts or races longer than an hour, pay attention to your hydration. Take around 30 to 60 grams of carbohydrates for every hour of training or race. Sports drinks and sports gels are good sources. For post-race or post-workouts, make sure to replenish fluid losses and take a recovery meal. Take in water with electrolytes to speed up rehydration and carbohydrates to replenish glycogen stores. If you want to jumpstart recovery right after a long run or race, you can have a smoothie of fruits, veggies with yogurt or milk. You can also opt for commercially available recovery drinks that have adequate amounts of carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. For a post-race meal, have one rich in carbohydrates and protein. Eating generous amounts of fruits and vegetables rich in antioxidants help minimize oxidative damage and the production of free radicals, as well as boost the immune system. For more training tips on running, triathlon, and multisport, subscribe here.